verify assumptions, your own and those of others. As a newlywed, I stumbled into the kitchen at 4 a.m. one morning to cook my college student husband a full breakfast before he went off to his summer job. About two weeks into the routine, I left the kitchen a moment and then I returned to see my husband scraping his scrambled eggs into the disposal. What's the matter? They weren't done right, I asked. Oh, sure, they're fine, he said. I, I just have trouble eating eggs and toast at 4 a.m. I said, but I thought you said you liked a big breakfast, that your mom always cooked you a big breakfast. He says, well, she did, but not at 4 a.m. No more early mornings for me. Of course, we don't become aware of assumptions until something happens to let us know that those assumptions aren't shared. But the goal is to be alert to the pitfalls. Take this example. I noticed you didn't turn any referrals for prospects on those new accounts. Does that mean you're upset about the compensation program now? Such a pro gives the other person responsibility to either deny or verify the feelings. A big part of communicating clearly is to verify assumptions about what we think the other person feels. Verify assumptions, yours and the other person's, before you draw conclusions and walk away from a conversation. This is Diana Boer encouraging you to communicate with confidence.